Hey guys, Nick Holden here, aka DVD Collector 96, and welcome to a new video on my YouTube channel. Okay, guys, so welcome to a new my complete uh, collection video. Uh, this one is not too big, but it's a show that I uh, was thinking a long time ago to add it to the channel, and I'm like, why not? This is the time, so I sit down here and I'm recording now this video for you guys. Uh, first of all, uh, it's going to be this one and three more videos. This will be like the introduction video with uh, my complete collection. Uh, then I'm going to be doing a video for each individual of the packs. The show we're talking about today is 12 Monkeys. Now, there is something actually wrong with me. Every single time I revisit uh, a show like through scenes, in this case, now that I'm sitting down here and I'm recording this video for you guys, I want to rewatch it. And I keep rewatching scenes that I know that I love instead of rewatching uh, new content and new movies and things like that. So I need to figure out what I'm going to do, but that's just me. And I have read a lot of people online that they do the same as me. Now, 12 Monkeys. Uh, this was actually the first show that I ever double deep on and I'm going to tell you right now why. Okay, so 12 Monkeys. I was looking uh, through Amazon one day, a long time ago, and I saw the second season on sale for $9.99 on DVD. At that point, I wasn't collecting any Blu-rays at all, at least for TV shows, and I decided to give it an opportunity to do the show. Both of the seasons were $9.99 each. It was a sci-fi uh, show. And at the time I bought the first and the second season, the third season was already airing and it was like two weeks more uh, just to finish with the season. So I bought the DVDs and uh, I started watching them. I remember I was working at Subway at that time, so I will came home at like at 3am and I will just sit down on my couch like I still need to watch the show, it was so good. The first season of the show was amazing and I don't want to get too much into the show because uh, of, on each of the individual videos I will get into the show uh, but the show is so good um, it's kind of based on the 12 monkey movies with Brad Pitt and every second which I haven't seen but I think it's not that uh, much content like do not watch this show because you watch a movie and you want to get like easter eggs and things like that I think this is not this kind of show but it's the time travel show a weird Sorry, it's set on the future, a virus uh, wipes up a lot of humanity and it's this, this futuristic uh, time travel show. I loved it, it ran for four complete seasons. It's one of these shows that I love because you watch from beginning to end and they answer every single question that you might have during the show. Every single season is worth watching and, and the ending is beautiful. Though. Uh, and for a TV show, I think the, they were tied with money, so they did an amazing work. Now, why did I double dip on this show? Okay, I'm going to let you know now. So, as I'm showing right here, I got the first and the second season on DVD. It was a sick fight release, and those releases uh, were on slipcovers. So, I was like, you know what, third season is going to eventually be out. And through looking through eBay and things like that, I know they released this show on other countries, like the individual seasons on DVD. It never hit the US markets, at least the individual seasons. They just created the complete first season and the complete second season. What happened to me at that point? Okay, so at that point, they did put out in the market way after the show was over. They put out in the market season three and four on Blu-ray only. Uh, I didn't have the first two seasons on Blu-ray, I wasn't collecting Blu-ray at the time, but not only that, the Blu-rays were insane as the price. They were like $50, $40, I never saw them like cost less than $35, and I wasn't making that much money, and to be honest, I wasn't expending that much money on TV show seasons. I don't know why, because steel books and things like that, I would spend the money. Nick Holden from that era didn't want to buy it. Uh, I just saw it too expensive. And season one and two, they were actually released on DVD and Blu-ray as well. The same is the third and the fourth season were uh, DVDs on demand. What happened later on? Uh, looking through Amazon, I really I realized that they released a complete show on DVD. 
and on Blu-ray for a pretty great price. Now, I'm a little complicated about buying box sets because if I buy a box set, I do want the box sets to have each of the individual seasons inside. I don't like to buy like these kind of books that you just open and all the discs can fly there. This is the case, but I made an exception. First of all, because the Blu-ray cover art that they choose, I loved it. So I was like, you know what, I need to add that to the collection. Basically the complete show is the same poster from the season one, but they use this beautiful cover art and it's basically that. It's just like a Blu-ray book that you open it and all the these are right there. But since this show, you don't have a way to buy it like individually. I was like, you know what, the Blu-rays are too expensive. I bought them on their own. Their own. So I prefer to spend like, they were like, 40 30 dollars something like that for the complete series on blu-ray i actually went to best buy the other day and they had it uh, on source as well so beautiful beautiful show to add to your collection i'm really proud that i have it and one of the other reasons that i'm recording this video guys is like i'm trying to save all the space that i can and i don't like to have the same shows like twice unless it's a show that the cover arts are super different on everything so what I'm going to do is that I find a way to storage I'm not going to get rid of my DVDs I'm just going to get rid of the cases and I find a way to storage these which um, by the time you're watching this I don't know if I already did that video I'm waiting a little bit to build it up so I can show it with more perspective so I'm going to show you guys the way that I found it. but basically uh, before these two cases right here are gone I wanted to show you guys my 12 monkey TV show complete collection and basically the collection is 12 monkey the complete first season on DVD later on I got 12 monkey the complete second season on DVD and these specific releases were universal and uh, it's from greattvshows.com and both of the slipcovers were shiny and it's these kind of slipcovers the ones that go on top and then this beautiful set that I got, which is Screen Factory, if I'm not mistaken. No, I'm mistaken. It's for Mill Creek. They dropped the show on DVD and Blu ray with a special features as well. So, this is 12 Monkey, the complete collection. Again, this is the Blu ray edition of the show. Look how beautiful that one looks. This is how the spine looks, and then this side by the back looks. So, again, this was just a general intro video that I was going to do. Just to show you guys the collection, uh, so stay tuned in the channel because I'm going to do one individual video for the box set for the first season and for the second season so we can discuss what are you getting if you're planning to buy this show eventually, which special features are you getting and we're going to discuss a lot more about the show. But for now, let me know in the comments if you double dip as well and let me know, I don't know, like one of your favorite TV shows that we had to make you double dip on it. Uh, I might be, I, I know that I'm not the only one who does these things, but for now, that will be all for today's video. Like I always say, I hope you guys are enjoying with this new kind of content in the channel. If you are, please let me know in the comments, leave me a like, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel so we can keep this family growing, and see you guys again soon on a new video.